In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a joint position or proprioception test of the thumb. So it's important to remember when you're performing a test of joint position sense that your points of contact are on the lateral edges of the joint line. You don't want to have your fingers um, applying pressure or force in the direction that you're testing. So I'm going to keep my fingers uh, minimally contacting um, the joint that I'm testing and on the lateral aspects of her thumb. So Grace, I'm going to be testing to see how well you can determine where your thumb is when I'm moving it. So Grace's eyes are open right now as I'm explaining this test. So Grace, when I move your thumb up, you're going to say up. When I move your thumb in this direction, that's down. So as I move your thumb with your eyes closed, you're just going to say up or down. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes at this point and tell me if your thumb is up or down. Up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. Great. And as you guys saw, I tested her joint position sense at different parts along her range of motion, which is important. Um, and I would report this as intact proprioception of the thumb. Um, you can perform this test very similarly at the great toe, um, keeping in mind that your fingers will need to be lateral to the IP joint line of the great toe. And in uh, future classes, you're going to learn uh, when and how to assess more proximal joints for proprioception.